हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम अगेन लेट स्टार्ट टुडे सेशन विद टॉपिक फोर्स बिटवीन द प्लेट्स ऑफ अ कैपेसिटर सो हियर वी विल बी हैविंग द फोर्स दैट इज बीइंग अप्लाइड बाय द पॉजिटिवली चार्ज प्लेट ऑन द चार्जेस इंड्यूस्ड ऑन नेगेटिव और सेकंड प्लेट केप्ट पैरेलल टू इट सो लेट्स बिगिन Suppose we have two parallel plates here. One charged with positive charges having surface charge density as plus sigma, and the other having negative charge density minus charges here on next plate, and uh, the separation between them is six small d. Now we write the electric field due to this positive plate. so the electric field due to positive plate e positive equal to its sigma by 2 epsilon naught this is the electric field density due to this positively charged plate and it is sigma by 2 epsilon naught Since this electric field will be uniform throughout this region, as the plates are longer in comparison to the separation between them, so the electric field is supposed to be uniform between this uh, uh, space uh, bounded by two parallel plates. So now we will be talking of potential. So the uh, instead of saying potential. Better would be to directly calculate the force. As we have electric field and charges are here on uh, negative plate, let those charges be say minus Q. So directly you can go for force. So the force on charge minus Q. Actually, it is the magnitude that is being written. F equals to Q into E plus. So just having the value back here, that is Q into sigma upon two epsilon naught. Now sigma is what Q by A. So just having now the value uh, with us, uh, it's a E V electric field. Electric field between two plates, two plates. Then, in this region, what amount of electric field is there? E equals to sigma by epsilon naught. So this is the electric field in between this parallel plate. It was the electric field due to positively charged plate. So now, here from we just calculate sigma that is equal to epsilon naught into E. Now we can have this value back here. Therefore, F now comes out to be Q by two epsilon naught. This one into sigma. Sigma is epsilon naught into E. Now here from these two can be cancelled out, giving us half Q into E as the value of force. Let's have another form. Again, again, F equals to this thing, Q by two epsilon naught into sigma. And now for sigma we can have Q by A. So here we have Q upon two epsilon naught into Q upon A, and this now becomes Q square upon two epsilon naught into A. So as may be the need, we can go for either this form of force or this form of force. Let's have cylindrical capacitor now, as in the previous lecture. i gives a very brief idea about cylindrical capacitor what cylindrical capacitor is how it is made up of and how 
दो कैपेसिटेंस नोइंग द वैल्यू ऑफ लेंथ ऑफ द कैपेसिटी सिलेंड्रिकल कैपेसिटर एंड द इनर एंड आउटर रेडियस हाउ कैन वी कैलकुलेट डायरेक्टली द वैल्यू ऑफ कैपेसिटेंस फॉर्म बाय दोस को एक्चुअली प्लेस टू पैरेलल कैपेसिटी सिलेंड्रिकल सिलेंडर्स आई मस्ट से नाउ लेट्स हैव how that last outcome that i wrote in the previous lecture comes let's have small deviation and a little treatment so suppose we have cylinder of uh, inner cylinder having radius say re and here we have outer cylinder having radius R B. This one and this one. So the length of uh, cylinder here taken earlier it was small l. So this time also I am having small l. Now this is the axis of the cylinder. This is the axis of the cylinder. now with this axis uh this is the radius of outer cylinder let that be called as b as it is b and the inner one is say a and this is r a now suppose inner one is given charge plus q and outer minus q and the potential of inner one is say v plus and the outer one is having v minus potential now to calculate the electric field intensity let we have a uh, calculate to calculate the electric field intensity at certain point a uh, distance small r from this axis let we consider gaussian closed surface again cylindrical in shape of length say small x as i am drawing so so this is the hypothetical cylinder being considered here or uh, this one and this one now from the axis the point at which the electric field intensity is being calculated is say small r okay now the electric field will be uh, along this curved face the electric field will be readily outward so i must draw the electric field here uh, along this e and uh, let this point be say p okay now uh, using gauss's law using gauss's law what do we write integral over closed boundary closed gaussian surface of vector e dot ds which is equals to charge upon epsilon not charge enclosed by this gaussian surface now since the electric field is uniform and the area vector they both are along this the same direction hence the electric field into when ds is integrated over this s so that will give us the curved surface area and that will be 2 pi uh, let me just uh, have the leveling of its length small x so 2 pi r into x will be the value of s and thereby we can have the lambda into x actually This is linear charge density into length of the cylinder. Upon this epsilon naught, further you can have this uh, lambda as q by l into x upon epsilon naught. Now this e into uh, you can have this x and x cancelling, getting cancelled. 2 pi epsilon naught into r you can have here and uh, e into x here so x and x will get cancelled so this is the value of electric field now we can go for the potential so the potential difference potential difference 
V equals to V due to positive. That means inner cylinder minus V due to outer cylinder. So this is going to give us the value of basic using basic definition minus integral from R B to R A of E D R. Now placing the value of E back here. So here let me write the constant term out of the integration. So minus q upon 2 pi epsilon naught into L. This whole will be constant. Ah, uh, this L along with 2 pi epsilon naught. Only 1 by r will be variable. So I'm writing it inside. It is 1 by r dr from r b to r a. So having the integration of this, we'll have log. So Here we can write it is a q upon two pi epsilon naught into l into log b c r b upon r e r b upon r e. Now this is the potential difference. Directly we can have the capacitance now. The capacitance C equals to Q upon V, and V value is this one. So you can have now Q upon V two pi epsilon naught L upon log base C R B upon R A. Now this further can be written as L upon. One upon two pi epsilon naught into log base C R B upon R A. Just to make it four one upon four pi epsilon naught a constant term, multiplying and dividing by two we have L upon two into one upon four pi epsilon naught into log base C R B upon R A. Thereafter. You can have this for this. You can have k. So this is L upon 2k into log base C R B upon R A. So this was the formula that I wrote yesterday, where k equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught. Okay, students. Let's have few questions, problems based on the concepts that we have learned so far. In the chapter of capacitance, so the very first problem I'm just reading it out. A capacitor of unknown capacitance is connected across a battery of V volts. The charge stored in it is 360 microcoulomb. When potential across the capacitor is reduced by 120 volt, the charge stored in it becomes 120 microcoulomb. Calculate first the potential capital V and the unknown capacitance C. Second, what will be the charge stored in the capacitor if the voltage applied had increased by 120 volt? So here, let me write the informations given in the question. Earlier, the charge stored in the capacitor. Is given as 360 microcoulomb, and uh, when the potential is V, and when the potential is uh, reduced by 120 uh, V dash, which is V minus 120, that time the charge is uh, 120 microcoulomb, 120 microcoulomb. Okay, so for the first part, we must calculate potential and unknown capacitance. So uh, for the first time, you write Q equals to C V since Q equals to C into V. So here Q is given to be 360, and C is uh, we don't know, and potential is also not known to us. Let we call this to be equation number. One. Now, for the second case, when this potential is reduced by 
say 120. So the potential is V minus 120 into again the same capacitor is being taken. Now charge stored is say 120 microcoulomb. So this is equation number 2 with us. Now dividing equation 2, uh, you divide by uh, first by 2. So dividing we have uh, it is uh, 3 equals to V upon V minus 120. Now here from you will get value of V to be 180 volt. Now using this value of V in equation number 2 we can have the value of C. So here using equation 2 we have 120 into 10 pass to minus 6 because it is micro. So this will be equals to C into 180 minus 120. 180 for this V minus 120. Now here from you will have C to be equals to C equals to 2 microfarad. Now let's have second part of the question. Second part is uh, uh, saying what will be the charge stored in the capacitor if the voltage applied had increased by 120. Means initial voltage that was taken as V whose value is 180 with us plus 120 again that much amount of potential is being applied. Now what amount of charge will be stored? So for that directly you can have Q equals to C into V plus 120. So here just place the values. Uh, it is 2 into that V is 180 plus 120. So this is 300. So 600 micro coulomb will be the charge stored. A parallel plate capacitor having plate area of 25 cm square and plate separation of 1 mm is connected to a battery of 6 volt. Calculate the work done by the battery during the process of charging. So here actually you are given the area of the plate. It is 25 centimeter square, so 10 pass to minus 4, I must write meter square. And the uh, plate separation D is given to be 1 mm, so 1 into 10 pass to minus 3 in meter. And potential is also given to you, it is 6 volts. Now you need to calculate work done. So directly you can go for uh, work done. W equals to Q into V equals to CV we can have here Q equals to CV and here actually for this uh, W directly we can have here this value back here so this would be C into V into V so C epsilon naught A by D into V square. Now you can have values here. 8.854 into 10 pass to minus 12. Area is given to be 25 into 10 pass to minus 4. So 25 into 10 pass to minus 4. This one. And thereafter, D plate separation is given to be 1 into 10 pass to minus 3 directly. I am writing 10 pass to minus 3 only. And V square is 6 square. So 6 square will be 36. So here, uh, just uh, students try to solve this. So as you go on solving it, you will finally reach at 0 0.5. 7965 into 10 pass to minus 9 joule. Okay, now let's have question number third. 
27 drops of same size are charged at 220 volt each. They coalesce to form a bigger drop. Calculate the potential of the bigger drop. So let's proceed. Question number 3. Here actually number of drops given 27 and each having potential of 2 to 0 volt. They are being coalesced. So here we write V equals to Q by C and this total charge will be the sum of those 27 charges which are there on 27 drops. So directly we can have 27 Q upon the C. Now thereafter you can have this one Q equals to CV. So let the capacity of a small drop be small c and potential be small v. So you can write 27 into c into v upon this capital C. Thereafter we can have it as 27 into for this you can write uh, uh, small c 4 pi epsilon naught r. So here we can have capacity 4 pi epsilon naught into small r, the radius of a small drop into this small v. Upon here the capacity of a big drop, you can write 4 pi epsilon naught into capital R, the radius of bigger drop into uh, this, that's it. So here actually 4 pi epsilon naught, 4 pi epsilon naught will get cancelled. And we will be finally coming to 27 into R V upon capital R. Now we can use the volume. Volume of a big drop will be equal to 27 into volume of a small drop. So here we can have 4 since 4 by 3 pi R cube volume of a big drop will be equals to 27 times volume of a small drop 4 by 3 pi small r cube. So here from we can have the relationship between small r and capital R. So 4 by 3 pi 4 by 3 pi taking cube root on both the sides we have capital R equal to 3 r. Now here this value can be placed here. So r and r will get cancelled and we will be having 3 nines up. 9V equals to capital V. So here, therefore, we have V equals to 27RV upon this 3R, R and R, 3 nines are. So this is 9 into small v. Okay, so this V is given, this one. Let me call this small v. Now directly we can have here 9 into 2 to 0. So this value will be 1980 volts. Volts. <coughs> Calculate the value of capacitance C in the network shown in figure. If the equivalent capacity between A and B is 2 microfarad. So let me write question number 4. So just drawing now the diagram, we have here point A and uh, the capacitance of value C is connected here. Now thereafter, here we have a capacitance of 1 microfarad capacity and next here a uh, capacitor of capacity 4 microfarad is connected. Now in parallel to this there is a 6 microfarad capacitor. Now this is in series with this 12 microfarad capacitor. And this further is here. And uh, here from you have a capacitor of capacity 8 microfarad 
Now it is in connection with the two capacitors in parallel like this each of capacity 2 microfarad and thereafter it is connected together making point B. So this is the diagram given in the question. Now we will be starting right from here. Actually these two are in parallel so 2 plus 2 that will make 4 microfarad. Now here these two are in series so the uh, resultant of these two will be in parallel to this. So let's start. Uh, here actually uh, the simplified figure can be this one point A. Now this C remains there as it is. Now this one microfarad capacitor also remains there. And here, uh, this uh, this capacitor along with this capacitor, these two values needs to be calculated. And here, this will be point B. So let's calculate this value. Actually, this value will be the uh, resultant of these two. Now in series with this, so that's these uh, effective of these three will be this capacitance and the effective of these all will be this value. So this is how we will be proceeding. So uh, 2 plus 2, 2 plus 2 that is 4 microfarad. Now this is in series with this. So this one uh, will be equals to 4 into that 8 upon 4 plus 8. So this is 32 upon 12. So this is 8 by 3 microfarad. So this will be of 8 by 3 microfarad value. Now let's calculate this one, this value. So here what I said, these two are in series. So let's calculate first. It is 6 into 12 upon 6 plus 12. So this is 6 into 12 upon 18. So 6, 3 is 18, 3, 4 is 12. Now this 4 is in parallel with this 4. So that makes 4 plus 4. How much? 8 microfarad. So this capacitor will be of value 8 microfarad. Now, actually this uh, this capacitor and this 8 value capacitor, they both are in series. So taking them in series, let's calculate effective and that effective will be in parallel with this. So let's calculate the effective of 1 and 8. Uh, so the effective or the effective capacitance of 1 microfarad and 8 microfarad. So this will be equals to 1 into 8 upon 1 plus 8. So this is 8 by 9 microfarad. Now this 8 by 9 is in parallel to this. Therefore, C, let me call this C dash. This will be C double dash. So C double dash will be 8 by 3 plus this 8 by 9. So this makes 9. And uh, if I have 8 common, so this is 3 plus 1. So this now comes 32 by 9 microfarad. Now this 32 by 9 will be in series with this C. So let's calculate C triple dash. C triple dash equal to 
थर्टी टू बाय नाइन इंटू सी अपॉन थर्टी टू बाय नाइन प्लस सी एंड दिस इफेक्टिव वैल्यू इज गिवेन इन द क्वेश्चन टू बी टू माइक्रोफेराड सो हियर विल बी प्लेसिंग टू माइक्रोफेराड सो दिस टू विल बी इक्वल्स टू थर्टी टू सी अपॉन थर्टी टू प्लस नाइन सी Having the the LCM, 9C plus 32 and 9 and 9 and and will be cancelled. So just cross multiplying and calculating the value of uh, this final C. So that C would be equals to. Let me just calculate it. It will be 32C equals to. 64 plus 18 C and this 18 comes here. So finally, the value of uh, C that we all will be getting here will be equals to 4.57 micro. Let's have question number fifth. Find the equivalent capacitance between the points P and Q as shown below. Given C equal to 18 microfarad and C1 equal to 12 microfarad, so the network is formed of C and C1, whose values are 18 and 12 microfarad respectively. So, question number fifth. Let me draw the network so that we can have further proceeding. Problem. So, C again. C. So here from you have C one. This is C one. All are C C C. And point is this P. This point is D. And here it is uh, E point. Here also you have the uh, point is Q. And this point is E. This is C. And again, you have one more C here. And here also you have another C. Point is this G. This point is F. And G and F are connected together through this C. And here we have point A. And uh, this is connected with the C1. This is C1. Now this point is B. So diagonally Q and D are connected with the uh, this C. Again A and E are connected together with this C. This is C. This is C. And again, B and F both are connected with this C. This is C. So this is the network to proceed. Let's start. Actually, here uh, to start with, let's have this F and B first. So between these F and B, we calculate the effective. Value. So here, actually, this C. Let me write the value given in the question. C is given to be. C is given to be of value eighteen microfarad, and C one is given twelve microfarad. So this C and this C is in series, and that is in parallel with this. So let's calculate with effective capacitance between F and B. So C F B will be equals to series 18 into 18 upon 18 plus 18. Now that that is in parallel with the C. So plus 18. Uh, so as you solve it, you'll be getting 27 micro farad. The value of this one. Now let's calculate the Uh, effective between A and B, this one. So here, now C A B will be equals to 
this 27 now this 27 now is in the series with this C and that is in parallel with this C1 so uh, 27 into 18 series 1 upon 27 plus 18 now that is in parallel with this C1 12 so just as you solve it, you'll be getting approximately 22.8. So for the sake of simplicity, let me have it as 23 microfarad. This for the simplicity per reason. So that calculation may be easy. Let me round it off to 23 microfarad. So we have reached here. This hole has been solved. So this C1 is no longer C1, rather it is CAB. CAB is 23. Again, this 23 is in series with this and that is in parallel with this. So let's proceed. Now we calculate CAE, this one. So this is in series with this. So we write 23 into 18 upon 23 plus 18. So this effective of this is in parallel to this. So for parallel, I am writing it to be equals to plus 18. So the solution of this would be of value 28 microfarad. So between this A and E, we have 28 microfarad. Now this 28 microfarad is in series with this C. And that will be in parallel to this. So let's calculate now potential between D and E. So C D E will be equals to 28 into 18 series with 18 upon 28 plus 18. Now that is in parallel with this C1 which is having value 12 microfarad. So the solution of this would be 22.9 again rounding it off to 23 microfarad value. So this is how we have reached till here. Again the same approach these two will be uh, in series and that will be in parallel to this. So we now calculate CDQ. CDQ. So that C D Q is equal to this uh, this C D E is 23 and this 23 is in parallel to sorry is in series to this C and that is in parallel to this. So directly writing 23 into 18 upon 23 plus 18 plus that C again 18. So this value when you just solve it you will be getting approximately 28 microfarad. So 28 microfarad. So between this D and Q we have 28 microfarad value. Now this C is in series to that and uh, let's calculate this value. C P I must write now C P Q. So C P Q is equal to that C is in series with this 28. So 28 into 18 upon 28 plus 18. Just to solve this, you'll be getting 10.9 approximately. So you can round it off to uh, 11 microfarad. So this can be written as 11 microfarad. Let's have sixth question. If 100 volts of potential difference is applied between A and B in the circuit shown, find the potential difference between C and D. So let me just draw a diagram. Question number six. Here actually point A is given and here we have a capacitor connected of value 6 microfarad 
and this point is B. Between A and B, we have a 100 volt battery here. So let me just connect that 100 volt battery. This is 100 volt. Okay. Now here also we have 6 microfarad. 6 microfarad. And here also we have 6 microfarad. And this point is C. And here we have 6 microfarad. And this point is D. So this is the network given. Okay. Let me assume this point to be at zero potential and this point is at plus 100 volt potential. So with that assumption, uh, here, reaching here, there will be spreading of charges. So let me have here the charge stored we say Q1. So positive and negative. And here, uh, let me have Q2 charge. So Q2 positive minus Q2. And as these three are in series, so charge will be same. So here we write plus Q2. And here we have minus Q2. Here also we have plus Q2 and minus Q2. So this way we can have actually uh, minus and let me write it with plus Q1. Okay, so these are the charges spread due to the connection of 100 volt battery to the network. Okay, so for the simplicity, let me level it. This is first capacitor, this one is second, this one is third and this one is fourth one. So let's write the equation for these four capacitors. So for the first one we can have Q1 equals to CV. C is 6 into potential. So here we write 6 into 100. So this is 600 micro coulomb. Let me call it equation number 1. Now for Q2 you can have this is 6 C into V. V now will be the potential difference. So here we can write 100. Here it is 100 volt minus this one Vc, potential at point C. This is say equation number 2. Now for the third one, this one, you can write Q2 equals to 6 into, what's the potential between these two plates Vc and Vd. So we write Vc minus Vd, that we call equation number 3. Similarly for fourth one, Q2 equals to 6 into this point is at 0 potential so VD VD so this is equation number 4 now we can use second third equation to have the value of V from equation second and third we have 100 minus VC which is equals to Vc minus Vd or here from you have twice of Vc 100 minus Vd 100 uh, this is uh, plus Vd which is equals to twice of Vc and let me level it equation number 5 now we can go for third and fourth equation from third and fourth we have Vc minus Vd which is equals to six, uh, Vd. So we have Vc equals to twice of Vd with us. 
VC equals to twice of VD. So now we can use this and this equation. Let me call it sixth one. So from fifth and sixth, we have this thing a uh, hundred plus VD. VD is uh, let it be VD, which is equals to twice of VC. VC is twice of VD. So this is hundred equal to four minus one three VD, or VD equals to hundred by three. So hundred by three is the value of this VD. This much mold. Let's have VC taking this value. Back here, so VC is now 200 by 3. We have uh, VC minus VD, which is equals to 100 by 3. Okay, now let's have next question. Seventh, 12 capacitors, each having a capacitance capital C, are connected to form a cube, as shown. Find the equivalent capacitance between the diagonally opposite corners, such as A and B. Diagonally opposite uh, corners will be having labeling A and B. So seventh question it is. Let me just draw the diagram so that we can have better understanding. Here actually we have a capacitor like this. Here also we have a capacitor like this. Here also we have a capacitor like this, and here also capacitor is like this. Now right from here we have another capacitor connected like this, and here from we have again a capacitor connected. Here also a capacitor is connected. So this way you can have here also a capacitor is connected. Here also a capacitor is connected. And here also you have a capacitor connected. Now here from you have another capacitor connected. So this way, this uh, one more arm should have this one. So these are diagonally opposite points. So let me just level as per the question A, and this has to be B. Now, for the sake of simplicity, let me just level at C, B. Now this A and this point, let me call it E. This has to be H, and uh, here actually this uh, let me call it G, and this to be small D, and thereafter uh, this to be E. So this is simply the labeling for the sake of simplicity, so that we can proceed. Okay, so this is the network given in the question. Now, uh, as per the question, when the network is connected diagonally between A and B, so suppose this point is having positive potential and that point is having negative potential. So here the charges will be spread equally as they all are having same capacitance. So at this point, three capacitors are connected A, B, and C. So the charge Q will be spread in equal amount to all these three. So let me just write Q by three, Q by three, Q by three. Equal amount of charge will be there. Now, here also at point B, there will be again the charge Q getting spread equally in these three capacitors which are connected together at B. 
so this will also have q by three charge so let me just have q by three charge here also now since this point e is having capacitor a g and h so these uh, for the sake of symmetry the sum of these all should be equal to zero so as per that this capacitor will have q by 6 charge so here now we have charges on a g and d capacitor so we can now write the equation for these three capacitors so let's begin here i g q1 will be uh q equals to you can write uh, q equals to cv so we have q now v will be the potential difference between a and e so we can write the potential difference v a minus v b which is equals to this potential difference question is demanding so this would be equals to the potential difference between this plus potential difference between this and plus potential difference between this so let me just write uh let this point b f so we write now v a minus v e this potential difference plus this e and f v e minus v f plus now this f and b v f minus v b so this has to be the potential difference now v equals to q by c so using that directly we write it is uh, q by 3 charge upon capacitance c plus again charge upon capacitance c plus again charge upon capacitance c so just solving it we can have the value with us 5q upon 6c now question is asking about equivalent capacitance so potential difference is with us two over potential difference va minus vb now here you just write q upon that value 5q upon 6c q and q will get cancelled so this will be 6 by 5 times c okay so now let's have next question the connections shown are established with the switch s open how much charge will flow through the switch if it is closed so let me just draw the network question number 8 we have with us uh, here one microfarad one microfarad now this is of 2 microfarad value and here we have one microfarad and here also we have two microfarad now the the both are connected and there is a switch open s and here we have a battery of 24 volt connected 24 volt so this is the network given in the question okay so this is the network given so let's proceed when the switch is closed at the time of closing the switch let we call the potential here across the switch to be v not so for the sake of simplicity let me just level 
this to be first capacitor, this to be second capacitor, this to be third capacitor, this to be fourth, fourth capacitor. Now here, the charges will be distributed as they both are connected in parallel. So let here we have Q charge, Q1 charge and here Q2 charge. So we now have plus Q1 minus Q1 here and here we have say Q2 so plus Q2 minus Q2 and this capacity is same so here also Q1 will be there so we now write Q1 minus Q1 on this plate and this will have Q2 so here we have minus Q2 and plus Q2 4 ok now we will be writing equations for these four. So let's have now take the potential at negative terminal to be zero and at means this negative terminal potential is zero and at switch it is V naught so now write equations Q1 equal to Q equals to CV so C is what uh, 1 and V is this 24 minus this V naught so this 1 into 24 minus V naught, let me call this equation number 1. Now for second Q2, this one, uh, it will be C into 24 minus V naught. This is equation number 2 again. C into potential difference, 24 minus this potential V naught. Second, now for this and this, third one. So for third you can write Q1, this one equals to C into potential, here it is 0 and this is V0, so 1 into V0, let me call this equation number 3, now similarly you can have for this Q2 equals to Q2 equals to C into V0, so this way this is this is the next question ninth find the capacitance of the infinite ladder shown in figure so let me just draw the diagram here point A is there and we have this C and here it is point B here we have two points P and Q and there we have another C, one more C is there, here from next C is connected like this and here we have another C, this is C, so this goes to infinite, C, 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 and here also we have one more C like this. Okay, so this is the question. Now, here we will be using the assumption that the equivalent capacitance to the right of this PQ, let that be say C1 and that C1 will be attached here and capacitance to the right of P and Q will be attached here and we will be calculating the effective capacitance of that network formed hereafter and that effective capacitance will be just equal to the capacitance of infinite ladder to the right of P and Q so this is the approach so let's begin let the equivalent 
कैपेसिटेंस ऑफ लैडर टू द राइट ऑफ पी एंड क्यू इज से सी वन नाउ लेट मी हैव दिस अगेन द लैडर Uh, this is C. Point is P, and here we have C one, and here also we have this C. So this point is now Q, and here we have point A. Here we have point B. So this is the network now. Now, as can be seen, this C is in series to this, and that further is in parallel to this. So let's calculate now the effective capacitance. So C A B will be equals to just C one, as I said. Now C A B will be C into C one upon C plus C one plus in parallel to this C, which is equal to C one. Now just having a quadratic equation. Uh, so it will be C square C one square. I must write C one square minus C C one minus C square equal to zero. This will be the quadratic equation obtained just having the LCM and cross multiplication simply. So the solution of this would be C1 equal to C plus under root C square plus 4 C square upon 2. Okay, formula method of quadratic equation. Now hereafter, neglecting that negative possibility here, uh, we have 1 plus root 5 upon 2 into this C. This is the required answer. So with this, we end up today's session. Do like and subscribe the channel.